Did you get my text? <laughs> With the picture of the morels? Did you get it? Look at it. You gotta look at it. So it's the first of the season morels. Oh! <laughs> Did he say it? Nah. Show him, dude. First of the season morels. <laughs> first of the season morels. Later. That is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Mmm. <laughs> Get me um, set up for pig pot pie, give me the container, give me the pot pie, give me the dough. My name is Jeff Michaud and I cook at El Espina restaurant. El Espina is our Italian gastropub. We're known for, uh, for our craft beers, whether they're Italian or, or from Europe or, or local. And then we're also known for our fun twists on uh, Italian bar food. Ready for the pot pie magic? This is uh, pot pie 2012. <laughs> Is that a half a ball? Way too much burrata. Ask him what he, what he thinks. The ranch is nice with the burrata. My partner is Mark and Jeff. You know, we travel to Italy every year. We take a couple trips. So we started visiting these, these Italian bars and we saw some that had like crazy graffiti all over the walls and the Italian beer movement was really starting to develop. So we came back and we're like, there's nothing really in the States that's like this. So we got to do our version of Italian gastropub. So it'll be a trendsetter for the States. You want one of these. I'm going to tell you, you want one of these. As far as our clientele goes, they love, you know, they love what we do. They, they look for that those kind of off the wall, you know, weird stuff that we, that we got going on. We kind of wanted to do a little twist on, uh, on a hot dog, yeah. So we made a mortadella hot dog. Same feeling that you would make mortadella with, except we stuff it in sheet milk casings. I don't care who you are, Pepperidge Farm hot dog roll. It's the only way to go. The most important thing about a hot dog is to have that snap when you bite into it. Now some of the highlights on the Alice Pina menu are the veal breast milanese hoagie. You know, we do an Italian version of poutine with that guinea hen bolognese on top and mozzarella curd. You know, we do a whole pig's head. We use a lot of pig here. Everything but the oink. <laughs> hey, did you get my text today? <laughs> did you open up the picture? Ready? You're killing me, dude. Last night to go out, I picked Steve Wilde and uh, Jeff Benjamin. Steve Wilde is the beverage director of the, the whole company, and uh, Jeff Benjamin is one of the owners. We always get together, we go out and have a drink every now and then, and we have some cool late night spots that we like to hit. It's like Cash Cab. What is the best barbecue in Philadelphia? Yeah. Percy, Percy Street. Street. Percy Street. Oh. I think it's uh, one of those hidden gems, like, you know, when you come into Philly, you, know, you don't expect to find like really awesome barbecue joints and, and, they, and they do it well, you know, they don't do the southern style where they rub it with the barbecue sauce, they, they do it with uh, the dry rub, the Texas style. What'd you do? Fox 29 News, brand new man the limb, sliced the tip of my fucking finger off three seconds into the shit. <laughs> Dude, it looks like a half a clove of garlic on the other side of the mandolin. Oh, I heard they were going to start using mandolins for brisses now. Oh my god. god. Oh. Dude, you feel no pain. I'm so fucking sharp. Me and Michael have known each other for years. He actually, before I moved to Italy, he took my spot at Vetri and we, we worked together for about, about two years before I left. He was my bitch. <laughs> Thousands of dollars spent on labeling. The chicken, how long does it cook for? Chicken smokes, I believe, for under an hour, probably about 45 minutes. It's just smoke, that's it? Smoke, and that gets a glaze, and then right on the charcoal grill. They don't ever do this in Texas, but we finish all of our meat on the, on the charcoal. So it gets the wood smoke, and then a finish on the charcoal. Uh, I, I mean, nice. He said, he said I, had to, I had to burp it to get the flavor of the beer. Yeah. Did you smell it? <laughs> Steve Woolley is a vegetarian, so that spot was, you know, he thought was going to be a little bit of an issue, but they have a lot of, uh, a lot of side dishes that, uh, that work for him. So yeah, he had, he had a lot of options. I always think that a chef's very immature and maybe inexperienced if they take that route, like, I just don't serve vegetarians. Right. I don't do it because they're missing that part of it. Perfect. Right. Now we're home. Now we're home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm driving. <laughs> This is awesome. The best turkey ass we've ever had. 
turkey has like the little butts on the end of the turkey, you know. She chops them off and like smokes them for hours and, and they get really tender and they're moist. I've never had that before. It was, it was awesome. So he said, hey Jeff, check out the first of the season morels. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> That's it, first you're like, look at me, you're like, damn. Oh, it's like, damn. When we finished up at Percy Street Barbecue, we grabbed Mike Salamanov and uh, Aaron O'Shea. We hopped in the van and we headed to uh, Pub and Kitchen. Well, let me help you out, dude. Oh, sorry. <laughs> like, oh, oh. oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Pub and Kitchen is a local bar. There's a lot of industry people that go there. Uh, Johnny Mack is the chef, and he's worked with some really great people. James Beard is great. Food and wine is great. Having chefs eat your food at midnight is even better. Then you know it really matters. He has one side of it, which is which is burgers and regular bar food that you that you would get anywhere. And then the other side of it has has you know, really you know a little more refined stuff like rabbit riette and the whipped goat butter that we had with the nice nice blanched vegetables. Some nice fatty uh, Rhode Island skate wing here. I always like to cook skate the way I cook pancakes. Like you, you let it cook until it just kind of uh, starts to bubble on the on this side, you know. And then you just baste it, flip it, kiss it, take it out, you know. It's a solid late night food, man. Pickled meat, some nice grains, a little bit of vegetables, a good piece of fish cooked in butter. Really simple, really easy. I'm not rewriting anything here. Fine dining in blue jeans, you know? We turn the music way up at night, we turn the lights way down. Just trying to make good food for friends. Did you get my morale picture? Yeah. <laughs> Can you feed me an oyster, Michael? <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> it puts the oyster yeah. in the mouth. Put the fucking oyster in the mouth. Mike's a lot of fun. He's, he's a lot of fun to go out with. And he just likes to enjoy life and uh, you get a lot of laughs out of it, you know? It blows me away when people go to restaurants and then shit. I'm like, really? Let me shit my restaurant. Wow. Beautiful. He brought over a plate of uh, it was asparagus with prosciutto jelly and this fried egg on top. And when I hit that egg, it shot all over Michael's nice velvet jacket. Ready? Yeah, get the money shot on that. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> How did you do that, dude? <laughs> Perfect, dude. <laughs> it's on the bandage too. That's fucking so pornographic, bro. We were getting ready to leave, and then everybody was asking him, like, "Where's, where's Steve? Where's Steve?" And he said he's in the bathroom. And so we, we grabbed the camera, went downstairs, and and, and, and basically I kicked the bathroom door in. Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 You're on munchies, man. Body bag, Johnny. Oh, locker humor. Locker room humor. Oh, <laughs> You ready? When we left Pub and Kitchen, we added uh, Johnny Mack with us, and uh, we all headed back to Al Alaspina for, for some late night munchies. Is anybody else freaked out by the ease with which Johnny flipped open the men's room stall? <laughs> <laughs> like, he was like, it's just like the rest stop. We plan to cook some of the food at Alaspina that, that really makes us who, who we are, you know? Oh, I'm pulling espresso in a minute, dude. That's, that's, that's really sexy. It's stuff that I like to eat, you know, late at night. You know, after a couple of beers, you always want some fried stuff. So, so we did some fried pigtails with a with a fennel agrodolce, which is a sweet and sour sauce. It's almost like a version of a chicken wing, except it's done with pigtails. Ooh! We did some awesome fried snails in a beer batter with a garlic and parsley tartar sauce. These are extra large burgundy snails. And then the showstopper is always the, that big pig's head. We brine for about four days. It comes off about a 30 pound pig. After it comes out of the brine, we score the face, we pour the agrodolce over it, we roast it in the oven for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It gets all nice and charred and, and caramelized. You can make this one squeal. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Look at that. Oh, oh shit. yeah. Uh, the cheeks are falling off, the neck's falling off. There's people that eat the eyes, that crack the skull open, and they go for the brains. Thanks, Jeff. It looks fucking awesome. Yeah. Thank you. It's normal for you to stick your dick in my mouth. <laughs> totally. Get some snails, Johnny? Yeah, but I would like some more. Cheers, guys.
guys. Thanks, Thanks for me. coming out tonight. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> when you get to that point, it's like you're just eating because it's there.